I want you to raise your hand if you've ever posted something to like social media, any kind of social media, like Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, any of that? Okay. Now keep your hands up if you have ever taken a photo down because it didn't get enough likes or like you didn't get the amount of people that you wanted to comment on a picture. Okay. Can you tell me why? Why would you do that? Just because it's embarrassing if you get like three likes instead of like, other, like I've seen other people at school get like 80 likes and I get five. So it may have been like a split decision to put something up, like an instant decision, something that you may not have thought all the way through before you posted it to your social media account. But at some point in time, you had to have thought in the back of your head, I might have gotten judged by this. Um, judgment's in our life every day. In my class today, we did a pause lesson. PAUSE stands for Positive Attitudes Will Succeed. Um, it is our anti-bullying support system groups that we have here at Ellis Middle School. We meet twice a month and we have the same groups throughout their entire 6th, um, 7th, and 8th grade year. Do you think that we get judged by the people that are at Ellis? Name me some examples, not names, but types of people that might judge us at Ellis. Athletes that are like really good and might judge like kids that like don't play sports. Some kids get like invited to sometimes or like all the parties and then some kids just barely get to go to a single party and then like those kids when they go to that party they feel like left out because no one will like hang out with them. We've all been trained to do the pause program. We get the material and curriculum for PAWS through our guidance office and they make sure that we all have our materials, whether it's worksheets or videos or sometimes it's um, manipulatives too, like we use note cards and blocks and rocks and things like that, just depend depends on what we're talking about. What sort of prejudice or judgment have you felt in your life, like here at school or at home? Um, is there anything that you want to share about judgment in your life, no. Justin? That I kind of think most of the times when boys like pick on people, it's because of like either they're trying to make themselves feel better about like at home, like they're they're going through tough times, like parents probably getting divorced or just something that they just don't really want to talk about, and they try and like find another way to make them feel better, but then it's not the right way. Right. Right real good. Encouraging engagement in the pause group is vital to making pause work. You can't stand and teach to the kids. You have to be with them, not above them. I have to say, like, guys, I'm with you guys more than I am with my own kid most of the time, awake at least, and I see a lot of judgment, but they're getting judged in school every day. They have to have a safe haven. They have to have somewhere that they can feel comfortable. So you have to keep that in mind. You have to make sure that they understand that actively being involved in the discussion makes the program work. Do we have clicks here? Do y'all think? Yes. You think we have clicks? Girls, I hadn't heard much from you. Y'all tell me, what do you think? Clicks are things like, um, like the sporty people hang together and the people that like art hang together and it's groups of friends that maybe you feel like you can't join because you're not a part of their group or you're scared of them or you think they might judge you just like our lessons about the whole judgment thing. So do you think that there are cliques in our school? Yes. Do you think that we would be better at school and we would feel more comfortable if we could eliminate these? Yes. Yeah? Of course. <laughs> You can't always depend on them to participate. They may have a bad day. They may not have had a fantastic morning. So you have to really relate to them. You have to get inside their heads. You have to know what they like. What part of your day is that you look forward to at school? Lunch. Lunch? Lunch or gym if we have gym. Lunch or gym. During like lunch, um, you sit with a lot of your friends most of the time, and in gym, you have a lot of your friends there, mm -hmm. so it's fun playing sports and stuff with your friends. I have a student in PAWS that is new to our school. She got thrown into my PAWS group with this group of kids that have been together since they were in kindergarten. She didn't know anyone. She came into PAWS. She wasn't sharing. She wasn't participating. Um, 
Paws led other students to kind of adopt her into their group. She sits with them at lunch now. They make sure that she has someone to walk with in the hallway. I know our education is important, but socially in middle school, if kids don't feel accepted and they don't feel like they fit in somewhere, they're not gonna succeed, period, no matter how smart they are. So this child has grown in a very short time from being somebody that just felt like an outcast and somebody that was not important to being part of a group. And that's, that's, that's super important in her life.